What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're back again with another training guide and this time we're taking a look at Demichelis, right? So he's down as a DMF. We've already covered his big time buddy here, 96 overall centre back. We will cover Elbert as well. But Demichelis is an exciting one, right? He's kind of a different player and these are the type of unique players I like to research, investigate and have a look at in a little bit more detail, right? Unwavering form, stuck on B rating, Anchorman as his play style, so that's a switch up from his other card, which was available for free from the eFootball Point shop as a build up. And he's got a really, really nice card as well, right? He's got some unusual stats, lads, right? So he has heading, area superiority, and blocker and interception man marking from being able to play center back, excuse me. But then he's also got fighting spirit. And he's got long range shooting, weighted pass, low lofted pass and rising shot. So he's got far superior and a lot more player skills than his uh, legend card does have on the shop, right? Or that was available for free on the shop. And that Demichelis card was very, very solid, lads, right? It was a very solid card, but it only had 13 levels to go. So this guy definitely does take the biscuit when you think about the fact that he has blocker as well. So the first build that we're going to show you is going to be a center back build. Um, and again, you are going to take a look at him in a little bit more detail. Uh, the first build that we look at is going to be an outright center back. So forgetting that he's a DMF anchorman, it's just going to be like Barrios playing as a center back when we did him. So this is the first build as a center back. As you can see there, he's going to go to a 94 overall as a center back here, um, which is good, pretty decent. He's got 96 defensive awareness, 90 tackling, 91 aggression. I would actually put this down one to give you four more points back um, and leave that tackling at 89. That'll be more than enough. Trust me, you still got 90 aggression, 95 awareness, 96 engagement. You're never going to be fast, but I would like to get a little bit more onto the jump um, just because he's not obviously going to be the best player in the in the world as a centre back. You might as well. I mean, to get another couple of stats into jump compared to just one onto tackling, I think it definitely is a no-brainer, right? So that pushes him there. He's got 87 stamina, 72 speed. We've actually gone 10 into lower body here. Um, the reason for that is to get his stamina up. But if you are playing him as a centre back, that is something not to make a mistake with, right? So I would probably just put maybe four into that to get the stamina to 80. I would take away the passing um, if you don't want to have low pass at 78 and build out from the back. And then just really kind of go in with the aerial strength. You're going to have an insane card here with 90 jump. You'll have 90 header with the form arrow and 91 jump, 88 physical contact, uh, 88 header, and then the rest of his defensive stats. So that card actually goes up to a 95 overall, right? That's as a center back, okay? Even though his card won't show it. And you don't really need any player skills on this card, I would say. You have everything. You have everything you could possibly want. Yes, acrobatic clearance would be you know, nice, but you don't really need it on this card because he's got, you know, if you get a player form arrow, arrow Demichelis, right? Apart from his speed and acceleration, which you won't need if you're playing with a mobile center back beside him or two mobile center backs beside him that are quite fast with 75 speed and acceleration like Marquinhos um, or Reinildo or somebody like that, Timber. You've got 88 header, 89 tackling, 88 physical contact. They're all going to go into the 90s. And then you ma you have that with the rest of your defense stats that are going to be in the 90s. It's insane. And still have the stamina to be able to play a full match. Kick and power, lofted pass, and all the low player, low lofted pass, way to pass, long range shooting, rising shots, and header player skills if you do go up for corners, right? So that's the first build of him, which I think is really, really solid. The second build we have is your designated anchorman, right? So if you're looking for somebody to just hold the play down, you don't need to focus massively on defending. So you can kind of tweak that based on your play style. If you're playing a double man center back or center midfield partnership where you've got your anchor man in your box to box, this can be tweaked. You can tweak the defense a little bit and add to passing, even if you want to take this down to like 86 aggression. Me personally, with the way the game plays, I'm keeping it at 89 aggression, as high as we can possibly go while, you know, getting every other stat boosted up. We still have 94 awareness. It's not that different from the center back build. The big difference comes in the aerial strength. So that's only got four points. We still want to have the jump at around 82 um, and the header at 82, even though the game kind of the game kind of bypasses midfield a lot if you're playing against somebody good because it's either quick, intricate, one-touch passes or else it's going to be a lot of balls over his head. So it's either one or the other. This is a blocker. This is just pure and simple, a pure blocker. That's all you're going to want him to have um, there. Like you don't need to play a bit of ball with him, even though he's got good passing stats. His dribbling is terrible. You know, he's not going to be finishing shots or, you know, his balance, he's not going to be taking on anybody. This guy is just pure and simple, a blocker. 
kind of like Ambrosini that was released as a legend or Guardiola or any of those without the passing. Um, you know, he's just a pure blocker. Win the ball back, get the ball rid of. That's it. So let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite build is. Um, 94 DMF Anchorman uh, or 95 centre back. Let me know and I will talk to you in a bit.